Hi there, good morning and welcome. Well, for those of you who know me and who have been to our home, you will know that I have a little blackboard at the front of our door on the outside. And I love writing little quotes on there daily or every couple of days, just so that anybody who walks by can be encouraged. Well, I read this quote the other day. This is what it said. Relationships sink when they have too many passengers. Okay, and there was a photo um, with the quote of a big ship sinking. All right, and this, as I saw this, I guess you could look at it in different ways, in many different ways, I guess. But what stuck out to me was the following. Who am I going to allow to sail my boat with me? And who am I going to have come along as passengers with me? Well, I'm on a life journey, you're on a life journey, and I know that we're all wanting to succeed and live out the plans and the purposes that God has for our lives. We know Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts and plans for welfare, for peace and not for evil, and to give you hope in your final outcome. So we know that God's plans are welfare, are peace and hope. Those are all good plans that he has for us. Well, what passengers am I letting tag along with me in my journey? And what passengers are you letting tag along with you? Are these passengers that we're letting tag along with us, are they getting us closer or further away from welfare, from peace and from hope in God and all that God intended for us? Well, they could be passengers of doubt. Are you allowing, am I allowing, indecision, hesitation, uncertainty, wavering, lack of conviction, distrust, mistrust, disbelief, unbelief? Are we allowing that to be passengers that we are allowing to tag along with us in our life? Or are we making the choice, no, I'm taking along passengers of trust, of confidence, of faith and of belief. We know that Psalm 56 verse 11 says, In God have I put my trust and confidence. I will not be afraid. And then again in Psalm 62 verse 8, O oh my people, trust in Him at all times. Pour out your heart to Him, for God is our refuge today. So let's get rid of doubt in our life. Then what about the passenger of failure? All right. You may be thinking to yourself, well, what happens if this doesn't work or it may have not worked for you? And you're thinking, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Well, we know Philippians uh, chapter 4 verse 13 says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I'm ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ sufficiency. So we know when we realize that this strength that this scripture is talking about has got nothing to do with me, but it's all about God. Jesus infusing his inner strength into you and into me for the day. Then we know that we are self sufficient. Why? In Christ sufficiency today. Then what about the passenger of the past? taking that along with us. How often do we let the voices and the memories of the past keep us from moving into welfare, into peace and into hope? Philippians 3 verse 13 says, Brothers and sisters, I know that I still have a long way to go, but there is one thing, one thing I do. I forget what is in the past and try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. All right. And then in Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19, it says, So don't remember what happened in earlier times. Don't think about what happened a long time ago, because I am doing something new. Now you will grow like a new plant. Surely you know that this is true. I will even make a road in the desert and rivers will flow through dry lands. Wow, isn't that amazing? You and I, we need to let go of the past. Let God start something new in us. Then we will grow like new plants by rivers and we will flow through the dry uh, lands. Exciting times of refreshing in God will come. Then what about the passenger that we let tag along of unforgiveness? Well, we could be choosing not to forgive someone 
or sometimes we find it hard to forgive even ourselves. God's word is very, very clear about being a person who forgives. Colossians chapter 3 verse 13 says, Don't be angry with each other, but forgive each other. If you feel someone has wronged you, forgive them. Why do we choose to forgive? Why do you and I need to forgive? Because the Lord forgives you and I daily the things we do wrong. Oftentimes, we often are really, really hard on ourselves and we battle with forgiving ourselves. Well, God says in his word, if we confess our sins, he will forgive us and he will make us clean from all unrighteousness and from all that we have done. Okay, I love um, the a scripture in Micah. It's in chapter 7, verse 18, and 18 to 20. It says, There is no God like you. You take away people's guilt. God, you forgive your people and they survive. You will not stay angry with them forever because you enjoy being kind. You come back and you comfort us again. You throw all our sins into the deep sea. God, please be true to us. Be kind and loyal to us as you promised our ancestors long ago. How awesome is that to know he takes away our guilt and he forgives us. We serve a gracious God. Let's be careful today and let's choose wisely who we take on as passengers in our life. God wants to see us enjoying his welfare, his peace and his hope today in our lives. You are loved by God. Have a blessed day today. God bless. Bye-bye.